Hey guys, welcome back. I am in a mood today. <laughs> it has been so gloomy and stormy. It's, I guess, the beginning of storm season, you know, down here. So it's just been ick lately. And I was really in the mood for some glitter and something crazy and, you know, I don't know, kind of kick off to summer, even though it's not. <laughs> Told you, I'm in a mood. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do some, something crazy. I'm going to do something that I don't see a lot of people do. <laughs> something that I don't do a whole lot, but I figured, you know, you only live once, right? So it's been a minute since I've did, since I've did, since I've done some good old fashioned cheetah print. So I've really been kind of in the mood. I want to do that, but I also really wanted to do glitter. So we're just going to do both and live on the edge. I'm going to use peppy gels stuffs today haven't done peppy video in a while either so we're gonna get into it uh i still have tips on and i did do my three-quarter dip into peppy's clear and now i'm gonna go in with the kaleidoscope you can't tell on camera and i hate this so much cameras these days are so good at filtering things that they can't capture the hollow in this dip you'll you might see it a little bit in the end photo and in the thumbnail if you look close enough because it's natural light but under the ring light here and with this camera quality it just filters it all out and it makes me so sad because it's so darn gorgeous but it is it's a holographic glitter and if you guys haven't heard me say this a million and a half times i love peppy's glitter it's so easy to work with it's so beginner friendly and it doesn't fly all over the place. It's like got that density where it's not chunky glitter at all. It is not chunky. It's very fine glitter, but it doesn't have, it's not like weightless, you know, where it just flies everywhere. So I don't know. I love Peppy's glitter. Tell me now, I want to know what you guys have been putting on your nails. Um, comment down below. Let me know if you've been like in a glitter mood or in a nude, nudie type mood or in a bright color type mood. It's, you know, when it's, Weather really does predict <laughs> quite accurately how I'm going to do my nails that day. Because if it's like sunny and gorgeous out, I may actually like opt for a nude. If it's more doom and gloom, I try to go for something bright and something with glitter in it. I don't know why today. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing all the tricks out. <laughs> We're doing it all. We got hollow glitter, cheetah print. I only did two nails. I wasn't going to go totally cheetah crazy. I don't know if you guys saw my like super crazy rainbow cheetah. That was, it feels like a hundred years ago. Speaking of a hundred, <laughs> one of my subscribers told me recently, now mind you, I am pre-recording, so I'm doing this voice over way before you guys are seeing this, but one of my subscribers recently told me that I just did like a hundred videos. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, have I really done that many? <laughs> I have been busy. Uh, I don't know. I lost count. I, I didn't know I was supposed to be counting. Is that a thing? <laughs> Am I supposed to keep track of videos? I don't know. I just make them because I like to. And hopefully you guys like them too. Oh, you know what? <laughs> if you are new and you're not sure if you like my videos yet. Hi, I'm Marla Christ. I love all sorts of nail shenanigans and I like showing you guys how to do some stuff. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm not a nail tech. I'm just a DIYer like you are. And if you're into DIY nails or if you're into nails in general, you might want to consider subscribing because that's pretty much all we do here. <laughs> and if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up so I know you liked it and I will put out more content like this for you. With that, I'm going to take a breath. <laughs> I'm going to take a breath and I'm going to have some coffee and I'm going to let you guys watch for just a bit, but I will be right back.
wanted to chat with you guys just a little bit about some of the stuff that I find I'm being asked most frequently. <laughs> uh, I've gotten a lot of um, new subscribers and new followers. Hey, new guys. Um, and I'm so happy to have you guys here. And I realized that I have a lot of new people, you know, with the pandemic and everyone's in quarantine, everyone's doing their own nails and that's totally fine and totally awesome. I really support DIYers. I support a lot of local business too. And, you know, I, I hate to think of all of the actual nail techs that are out of work, but hopefully things will be getting back to normal soon. They may already be as you're seeing this and I hope that's the case. Um, but I wanted to chit chat with you guys just for a bit about some of the most asked questions that I'm getting recently from a lot of new DIYers. One of the questions I get is, what's my favorite dip powder company? And it's such a hard, virtually impossible question to answer because I love so many different things from so many different companies. I can't say there's one company where I love everything. I just can't because different, you know, dip powder maker people <laughs> have different things that they create. For example, I do love Peppy's glitters. I think they're amazing. I also really like their clear dip powder and their white dip powder in compared to like the general dip world. I love Sparkle & Co's foil dips with my whole heart. I am a huge foil fan. Probably my favorite type of dip powder to work with just because it's so... I don't know. It's just, a, it's easy to work with. It is a mess. If you if you don't like mess, you won't like foil dips. Um, and I'll leave one foil dip video up here so you can watch. It's with Sparkle & Co. again because I love their foil dips. Uh, I just feel like there's so much dimension and color to it. It has that like that multi-chrome effect almost. I don't know. I just love it. Um, I do love Revel. They have a lot of great like flat, non-glittery or whatever colors that I'm really into. Uh, Panda Dips, I am obsessed with their quality. Their quality of product is just amazing and their price point is phenomenal. So I'm a huge Panda person. There are a lot of companies that I really like for a lot of different things. A lot of companies I haven't tried yet. Um, as I am doing this voiceover right now, I'll tell you what you can expect in the coming weeks, maybe. <laughs> I have a couple of other I know I'm a glutton for punishment. I have a couple of other Amazon dip kits that I order that I'm going to try. I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> I've been batting a thousand with these Amazon dip kits lately, but we're going to, I'm going to try them. I'm, I'm determined to find something else that works. I did the Tomika one not too long ago. That one I love, totally love. Um, but I've got a couple more. Did pick up the Lavender Violets maybe? Is that what it's called? So that one I'm going to be trying out soon. I've also got some stuff from Triple Vitamin. Okay, so Triple Vitamin is my favorite dip base ever, and I've never used their other liquids or their dip powder. So I wanted to pick up the whole Triple Vitamin collection set to whatever, and I'm going to be trying out the whole thing, and I'll give you my whole opinion. So uh, you can look forward to some interesting videos to come. Still waiting on my poly gel kit. <laughs> I think I have two different ones that are on their way here now. Uh, one is by Homost. They were kind enough to ask me to review their poly gel set. Uh, I don't know if this was a dumb move on their port part because I've never used poly gel and the likelihood of me screwing it up is incredibly high, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> And I did pick up one from McCart. So when they come, I'm going to give it a go and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys, I don't think I've asked you this. I may have. If I have, then I'm a parrot and forgive me. But if I haven't, what do you guys think of the new music? Comment and let me know. Honestly, I am kind of obsessed with it right now. I feel like it's upbeat and yet very zen and spa-like which I'm completely loving right now. So comment, let me know. And uh, if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. That's what it's gonna be for a little bit. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and I've gotten, um, gotten all my nails completely dipped. I did clear cap. For those of you who are curious, I do always clear cap. It's a personal thing. 
but you definitely want to clear cap over glitter because if you file and buff over glitter you can rip or break the glitter and it might lose you know all of its prettiness so definitely clear cap going in with my activator i'm going to file and buff off camera then i'm going to top coat and get into some cheetah print so stick around and i will be right back So I've gone ahead and filed and buffed and now I'm going to get ready for a top coat. I've had a lot of people ask me about top coat as well so I'm going to tell you my little secret that's not a really a secret about top coat. Um, for dip top coat, activator is actually what cures your dip top coat and it's going to help it dry to that nice glossy finish that you want. So what I like to do is activate all of the nails one time after I file and buff. I mean, file, buff, wash hands, <laughs> and then activate. Let that activator sit for approximately two minutes. And then I take a paper towel or a lint-free wipe, you know, whatever you're into, dry. And I rub over all of the nails to make sure there's no excess activator on top of the nail. Even if your nail looks dry, do this anyway. It's going to keep your brushes from getting hard. That's the last thing you want because then you got to go into brush saver and we don't have that. You're you're just kind of screwed at that point. So then I go into my top coat. And the way I do the dip top coat is I'm gonna do one really quick, it's not gonna look quick, <laughs> two to three strokes, just like this, wiping my, you can't see it because it's gonna be out of frame, but I do wipe my brush off really well before I go back in the bottle. And I do the same thing to every nail. Two, maybe three strokes, wipe the brush off, back in the bottle. And the reason I do this is because your brush is going to come in contact with the activator residue on top of your nail. And if you, my air freshener just went off, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you don't wipe your brush off, your brush could be contaminated with the activator. And if you dip your brush back into the bottle, you could contaminate the entire bottle with that little bit of activator and you could ruin your base completely. So definitely keep your brush clean. And this is why I prefer gel top coat, just saying. Anyway, after the first coat is done, I'm literally giving it le less than a minute, 10 seconds, and I'm going right in with coat number two. This coat you can definitely get more detailed with and go slower with, and you don't have to worry really about that activator contamination. Although I do still like to wipe my brush off in between every nail, just to make sure the liquid in the bottle doesn't get contaminated with any whatever that could be on the nail. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up my top coat and then we're going to get into some cheetah print and then we're going to be done. So stick around and I will be right back. So this is what my nails look like after letting them dry for about three to four minutes. Peppy's top coat, you know, it does dry pretty quickly. So they're completely dry now. I wish you could see the hollow. I'm, it makes me sad. <laughs> Later when I go outside. So now I'm going to get into some cheetah print. I'm using just some matte acrylic paint 
you can use any anything you want you can use acrylic paint you can use nail polish you can use gel polish whatever you have i like the matte acrylic paint for me i find it's easiest to work with and also you know it's dry because it turns matte against your glossy nail so then you know when it's okay to top coat i'm going in with my dotting tool you can use a toothpick a bobby pin whatever you have and i'm going to make small little non-perfect circles just as a i don't know background for the little cheetah design and again you can make these as big as you want as small as you want I think this is why i love nail art it's so customizable and you can make it however you feel like your cheetah looks like you you want your cheetah to have giant spots make giant spots so i'm going to go ahead and let that dry just for a minute and then i'm going to go in with the black and do the outlines around each one of those circles and that's going to give you that cheetah print effect so i'm going to let you guys watch for just a bit and i'll come back and i'll throw a top coat over this and then we're going to be done so i will be right back So I went ahead and I did my thumb too, just because I had to be extra and have more than one cheetah nail. And now I'm going in with my Nail Addict LA No Wipe Gel Top Coat. Totally an optional step. You could dab a little activator on your cheetah nails and then do another two coats of your dip top coat if you wanted to. You could also use a regular polished top coat if that's what you wanted to do also. You don't have to top coat it. I just like the added protection. I want to keep my design in and Y'all know, or if you don't know, I'm a gel polish girl. I really prefer a gel top coat to anything, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this cure for 60 seconds, and this is what the finished nails look like. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the cheetah over the glitter, but I kinda like it. <laughs> and because it's over a layer of clear and then encapsulated with the gel, it almost looks kinda 3D. I don't know what my cat is doing right now. There's something on the floor. I think it's a cardboard box. It's probably an Amazon package. These poor Amazon guys. I feel like they're family at this point, the amount of stuff that I order from Amazon. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next vid. Love you. Bye.